Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Spegmeister, and welcome to part 4 of my Halo Wars Legendary walkthrough. Today I'll be playing through the mission Arcadia City, which I consider is one of the toughest missions in Halo Wars. So I'll show you one of the strategies that works really well to beat this mission and earn gold in part time. So let's begin. did was point here in the 30 seconds i had to examine the artifact yes all it did was point at a second star system arcadia colony to be precise population a little under three million largely unexplored but apparently quite the vacation resort there's something there captain and i think it's important that we get to it before the covenant do our orders are to investigate harvest we still don't know a lot about what's going on down there I understand that, Captain, but everything I see here tells me that we need to get to Arcadia to figure this out. Very well, Professor. I'll clear it with Admiral Cole. Serena, set course for Arcadia. Aye, sir. Crazy mystery trip to Arcadia plotted in, spinning up FTL drive. Serena, get out of my lab. Serena, situation update, please. Two Covenant vessels came out of slip space near Arcadia. The Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong engaged immediately and caught one with its shields down. We lost the Texas and Belfast. The Armstrong is venting atmosphere and Autumn is badly damaged. The second vessel is engaged in surface activity. What kind of surface activity? Unknown. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Audio only. Getting visuals now, Captain. Serena, launch pods. Bring the ship to alert. So starting off with this mission, you begin with Forge and a few Hornets, and we gotta clear out this subway. So the key for the first few minutes of the mission is clearing out all these sniper towers that have enemy infantry in them, and also gathering supplies when possible. And over by this console, you'll find the fourth black box. Rolling. Attacking. On my way. On my way. Rolling. Local unit. 
units. Rolling. Attacking. Rolling. Local units. units. Rolling. Rolling. Ramming. Rolling. Rolling. On my way. Local units. Enemy engagement. Rolling. 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 Ported attack. Ready to roll. Cargo 3 under fire. Screw the evac. Proceeding with emergency launch. We're hit! We're hit! Somebody help! Please! All units. Rolling. Attacking! Rolling. Spirit of Fire, Red Team. The Covenant are getting control of the city fast. Suggest setting up new ground operations. Rolling. Cargo one here. We can't take much more of this. Get them off us. Local units. On my way. Pointed here. Ready to roll. Spirit, forge here. I agree. We got room to get a base up and running? I've marked some locations suitable for base deployment. Make sure the area is clear. Cargo one is not responding. Transport assumed lost. Focus all attention on cargo two. All units. So, next to the console that I collected the, the black box earlier is where I'm going to build my first base. And that's the safest area to build a base on this map. Since one of the secondary objectives is to rescue a thousand civilians, what I'm going to do is position marines in these towers across the city and also build up some hornets and try to go around the map, clear up some areas where my marines probably can't target. And hopefully that'll also give me a good combat bonus as well. Ready to roll. Where's my family? Oh, 
research. Supply pad upgraded. Running them over. Rolling. And on the south and east side of the map, you'll find more resources. Plenty more resources to continue building. Resources required. Supply pad upgraded. Moving. Cargo 2 is under enemy attack. Don't leave us out here to die. Rolling. Moving. On my way. Moving. Moving. On my way. Rolling. Whenever you get the chance to heal your uh, cargo ship and your units, definitely do so. Now I'm rather fortunate that the Spartans hijack these vampires because the Banshees will have their have sacrifice upgrade which would allow them to otherwise kamikaze into the cargo ship. So that is really helpful because the stasis will prevent that from unfolding. So, so far we have about 10 minutes left in the countdown and I have nearly 500 civilians rescued, which is really good. I'm going to throw down one more, one more heal to get my units upgraded, or healed. And at the very least with the marines, we want to get the medic upgrade.
local units. Attacking! Attacking! All units. Attacking! Medic, research. And now all my Spartans are in Vampires, which is very rare to happen, so I'm very lucky at this point to have that happen. It's not really necessary to upgrade your Marines to ODSTs for this mission, but it can be helpful if you need to replace units from time to time. And once I have ODSTs upgraded, I can go ahead and destroy that, the barracks, and focus on building hornets for the remainder of the mission. I'll go ahead and automatically set my global rally point to cargo 2 for defending only. I'm also going to position ODSTs on these towers, and by doing so, any air units that come from this direction will engage the engage those units instead of the cargo ship. And right about now, I'm going to go ahead and rescue Adam. And there is a, an achievement tied to rescuing him. So that's a nice little perk with this mission. And the skull will appear in the, on the what, or excuse me, on the east side of the map. And that's the Wavu skull. units. Local units. All 
all units. Hornet here. Local units. On my way. Enemy engagement. Local units. Hornet attacking. Field armory complete. Firebase ready. Hornet here. All units. All units. Rolling. Rolling. Local units. Rolling. 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 And we are nearing one thousand civilians saved. So far, so good. It's looking pretty good. Supply pad complete. Hornet attacking. Hornet attacking. Enemy engagement. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Ready to roll. Enemy engagement. On my way. Station upgrade complete. On my way. All units. On my way. In my sight. Bombing run aborted. If you lose that base, that's no big deal. All we needed to do was go claim that base. And now we have a thousand civilians in Cargo 2, which is good, so now we just gotta focus on defending Cargo 2. And that is no big deal. And as you can see, the Megatur is targeting my base, which is completely fine at this point. As long as it doesn't target the cargo ship, then I'm all good. And now their shots are landing, which is cool. And there we go. The transports are away. Sergeant Ford, pull back and regroup. New orders are incoming. Roger that, Captain. Most of us are heading out of the city through the traffic tunnels. So yeah, there we go. We earned gold and got 58, nearly 59,000 points for that mission. Um, could have had a better combat bonus. I think I just lost too many marines and ODSTs, but nonetheless it was good enough for getting gold. And we also, more importantly as well, is we got all the side objectives completed. And those can, you can cash in quite a few points on those. So, keep in mind that this mission, um, in terms of going for gold and all these side objectives, while this strategy works really well. There are other strategies that you can utilize, such as building all hornets, or you can build wolverines and scorpions to complement your hornets. So 
It definitely doesn't have to be limited to this, but this is one strategy that I find works really well. Sometimes it can work perfectly, other times it doesn't. Again, yet just the enemy units on this mission can behave differently from one mission playthrough to another. So anyway, keep that all in mind and hopefully if you utilize these strategies, you'll be able to pass this mission with flying colors. So thank you for joining in with me on this playthrough and I will catch you on the next video.